Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Myself Malkai Santosh. Today we are here to discuss a very important Java program which I have asked many times in the interview for the role of automation testing. Come into the video. So the problem statement here is write a Java program to reverse string without changing positions of special character or members. Okay. So let me give an example. So I have taken a string name Curry at the rate. So this is the string the output should be as below. So it should reverse the string. So it should take the each and every character in the string and it should exclude the special characters and the numbers, the positions they have. For example, I have reversed the string starting from Kumar. So till the index 8 the character should be reversed and the position of the special character should be remained same and the same should be applied for each special character in the string. Only the characters in the string should be reversed and the special characters and the numbers should be remained same. Okay, let's perform this program in the IDE. I am using IntelliJ IDE for writing the program. Okay, let's create a package. Package name is com.java. And let me create a class under it. I will name the class name as string reversal. So I have created a string class name string reversal. So to perform the execution JVM needs main method. So let me create a main method public static. String arguments. So let me take the same string which I have shown in the example. I have created a string. And to perform this operation, let me create one more static method so that we can do our operations there. Public static void reverse string without I have created a method a static method so let me inject the string now Take the length of the string, string length dot length should be integer. Once you got the length of the string. Let me create a new character array to store the reverse string. Let me name as reverse reverse string array. Instead of writing reverse string array, I will write as reverse character array. Let me 
So once you have created the character array, a length should be defined. So let me take the same length of my string so that we can store the same exact length into the new array. Now once that is done, uh, Let me take, uh, let me start an if for loop. Here we haven't defined what is J. So let me define the integer with J and Give the length. So we need, we are starting from 0. I am taking the length as length minus 1. Here, here I am not incrementing anything in my for loop. So when I am executing these program, by looping it, I may use the increment. But as of now, I am not incrementing in the for loop. Okay. Now once you are entered into the for loop, you need to check whether the given character is a number or alphabet or a special character. To find out that we have a class called character. So character dot is alphabet. So we need to pass the string index. So if it is a alphabet, then uh, let's say we take a if not a alphabet. So if it is a null, not not alphabet, then we will keep the position same. That means the new character array. And I will mean increment my write the else statement here. Else if the character dot is alphabet. So in the first if loop, in the first if statement, I have mentioned the character of i, which I am starting from zero index. In the second else if statement, I will start it from the end. I will take the j index. Then I will use the same char array. So if it is not an alphabet at the end, I will insert those in the new char array with the same index and I will decrement my j value. If they are both of the cases fail, the last statement will be the reverse statement where I will insert the index of i new char array with string from the last. Same thing I will follow for the first. So I will place, I will start placing the indexes which are not, uh, which are alphabetic and we will reverse them in the, so this will take the reverse order from the start and the same thing is applied from the end. Also I will decrement and increment my j values. That's it. Uh, let, okay, once that is done, let me return the string. Return new string of our reverse character array.
going in a warming so the method should be defined with return type string so we have a return type string now there is one so let me in some system dot out dot print error so for the original my reverse string without special okay here uh, we forgot one thing so in the else if statement we need to make sure it should be negation before the if else statement because uh, we are also checking from the end of the string as we are doing in the first if statement so we need to make sure like it's not a alphabet it should be a special character or a member so it should be negation if both the cases didn't match it should go to the else statement okay let me execute this program okay we got an output so our string got reversed by just not changing the special character positions instead of uh, reversing the entire string it just reversed only the characters of alphabets and the positions of special characters and the numerics have been in the same place so we achieved this so okay let's take a new string i try to debug it and try to understand what exactly happening in the code okay let me take a new string i will insert numbers 34 and then percentile and then exclamation and then at the end i will keep 9 so here i have created a string with alpha numeric and special characters so let us debug it first run a program and see yes we have achieved it so the numeric and special characters are in the same position okay so try to debug it so intellij is a great great id where it has a strong debugging plugins okay that's the reason i have chosen it as an id to work with so before debugging it uh, let's keep a pointer a debug pointer okay let me keep it here so that we can iterate it each and every character here so let me start a debug okay so you can see uh, we have a string with the initial value which we have taken and the length of the string is 15 and so this is the length of the string and i have created a new character array which is reverse character array and the length of the j is 14 and the i value is 0 okay let me so we need to use step over to go to next step and step into to go into the method let me go to step over for the next step so as it is not the so the i value is not the al alpha numeric or not a special character it has ignored the first if case and entered into second if case and it will also look at the last character which is 9 in the second if else else if statement so as it is a number it will enter into the loop 
okay so once it is entered it will place the character 9 into the new char array so you see the new char array is now inserted a new character which is 9 and the j value is decremented so again it came to the initial loop so the now i value will be 1 and j value will be 13 so again it will search for the second character from the start as it is a alphabet so it will uh, it will not go into the loop and the fire the last but the second character is alphabet so it will also ignore this loop and it will directly come into the else statement where it will reverse the string so now the character of j is n so it will be placed in the first character of reversal array and the first character of the string a will be moved into the last character of reverse array okay so now the increment and decrement will take place so it will go so on by incrementing and decrementing the i i and j values so wherever the special characters are available it will go into the if statement and it will uh, insert the elements insert the characters accordingly and it will do the increments and decrements accordingly let me run this program so all the characters are inserting so you can see the increment and decrement happening and finally we got the output okay i hope you guys have understood how to write a program for these type of problem statements so it will be very useful to you and give a and whenever someone asks these questions and if you have given a uh, debug description how you have created the code that will make a right impression on you and makes your uh, coding skills improved Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.